You're now listening to the Chewing Ground Podcast. What's up, guys? This is episode three. We made it three episodes without being canceled. I don't know how far we're going to go. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I am so excited. We have a very special guest today. But before I do introduce them, I want to say that this episode is sponsored by Western Rise. They are a clothing company that make amazing pants and everything, really. But pants is what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing the Evo pants. They're fantastic. I'll talk about them more during the ad break. All right, so today we have a very special guest. He is a fellow friend of mine since middle school, I'm pretty sure. And he, on top of being a friend, he is a influencer now. Uh, he's a fitness influencer. He blew up on TikTok. He has over, what, almost 40,000. Last I checked was like 39, 38, something like that. Uh, 1,000 followers on TikTok. He's got almost 10K on Instagram. He's really starting to pop off in the fitness scene. On top of that, he is a future IFBB pro. So this is, uh, I'm locking him in as a friend now before he makes it really, really big. <laughs> All right, today we have Razon Danzler and your uh, handle is uh, Raz underscore lifts. lifts. Man. Yes, man. Okay, real quick. Is your name Razon or Raz? It's Rayshon. Rayshon, okay. Yeah. I, I, I remembered... And I was trying to recall before this podcast, I was like, is it Rashan or Rezon? But it's been Rashan. Too long, bro. I know, dude. <laughs> I haven't seen you in how long has it been? We were just talking about this a second ago. Uh, we it, graduated in 2015, so probably like Yeah, high school. And we were we used to be boys, yeah. like back in middle school and freshman year of uh, high school. It was me, you, Dale, uh, who else is it? Dale, I know, yeah, yeah. It was, dude, Eric, Eric Guevara, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's God. the ride, dude. Hey, man. So, how, tell me, how's life been? First of all, before we dive deep into your Instagram, how's your life been? Life's Everything been good? good. Uh, real focus. Just yeah. Kind of, like focus on staying like dedicated, tunnel vision, basically, bro. bro you are day. one of the most driven guys on social media right now. I'm I'm a huge fan of your work. Uh, how did you even start? like the whole fitness thing? Cause I remember back then, I don't think you were working out regularly, not in high no, school. I mean, uh, I got into college and we had team lifts and everything. And that's how I started lifting, but it was just like. Team lifts for lacrosse. Yeah, for lacrosse. So we had like three lifts a week and then like the, um, like tests to see if you would be able to play and stuff. Oh yeah, the, shit. The test. And then like, I started seeing results. Yeah. So then I started going with some of the boys on the team, like just us two, mm -hmm. us three or wh whoever. And then I started seeing like actual results. And also wow. with like heartbreak and stuff, like I got me more dedicated in the gym. Dude, you were good at lacrosse. I remember, I remember you in lacrosse. Uh, you were known at least from my friends that were playing lacrosse. They were tell, they would tell me about you. And they're like, Rashawn is really good at. Um, he was naturally ta talented because you picked up a stick later than other people did. Yeah, I, if I'm not mistaken, and you had to learn the skill side of things. But you were really fast. Yeah. I remember <laughs> I would come to the games and I was like, bro, my my yeah. dude out there running. Yeah, I was. Even in college, bro, like, I was probably always, like, the fastest. Oh, my player, God. Like, were you guys good? Uh, you we were, you went to Methodist, right? Yeah, we went to Methodist. The first year wasn't as good. Uh, the second year, we, I believe it was my second year. I don't know if it was my second or third. We got a ring. We went to. Uh, dude, Congress. what? Yeah. I think we finished 11-3 and three or something like that. Bro, dude, tell me how lit that must have been. It was amazing, bro, because, like, going to Western Guilford, bro, like, dude, you what? know, like. We didn't really have the best teams. No, we it no, not at like, all. I mean, they were good, but they weren't like great. Yeah, like yeah. there was like we'd get in the playoffs and lose for a second round or something like mm. that. No chance. Exactly. You know, teams were just a lot better. So like getting Dude. in college and like first year, uh, it's tough. Next year, like everyone's like we're just coming together as a team, as a family, like really getting to know each other, playing together, like beating teams, wow, like destroying teams. The only team we really lost to that year that we should have lost to was Salisbury. Salisbury of all like, teams, really? They, they were, dude. They should be D one. Damn, Salisbury's nasty. They got like maybe twelve, fifteen. Like, bro, that's the thing that I get confused sometimes when I watch uh like D two or D three teams. Mm -hmm. Some D two, D three teams deserve to be D one. Where yeah. some D one teams are trash yeah. in any sport. It's like I was seeing basketball and I was just like, bro, some of these teams need to fucking get relegated. Yeah, right. yeah, man. Okay, so you started with lacrosse and you started getting fitness. What was the first move into social media? Cause you're pretty big now, man. Um, you got more followers than me. Where? On if you count total follower count, you would probably have more than me because of your TikTok. Oh yeah. You're, dude, you have like thir almost forty thousand on TikTok. That's yeah. ridiculous. I think eight hundred away from forty k. Bro, and I know every morning you're watching that. You're yeah. like pulling it up. Yeah. <laughs> I do that too, bro. I, gotta, I do that on my YouTube. The big thing there, I gotta start going live more. Oh, TikTok has live. Yeah, you can go live once you hit. I think it's a thousand. 
Once bro, I feel like an old man. Yeah. I, bro, TikTok I'm telling you, live. once you get a TikTok, bro. I need to take it more seriously. Yeah. I, j- I just, I literally just use it to upload clips. Like, I don't actually take it, like. Yeah. You do the actual, t- like, I classify you as a TikToker because you do the TikTok trends. You do, and you're really good at them, too. We're yeah. going to, uh, by the way, guys, for everyone who is watching or listening, uh, thank you first. And we have a lot of segments that I actually planned. We're going to be diving deep into Rashawn's uh uh, TikToks. We're gonna be watching that live because now I got a TV finally, and um, we're gonna be talking about his IFBB Pro uh, like path and a couple other things that I got planned. But also after break, we're gonna be doing a blind, uh, sugar free slash zero calorie energy drink blindfold taste test. Where if I'm gonna see if you can identify the brand and also the flavor, that's gonna be really hard. That is gonna be tough. yeah, yeah, dude. To be fair, like the actually now that I'm thinking about it, the last two episodes, they were really good at theirs, but. W- one was really easy. Yeah. Um, and then I, I want to talk about a couple other things. And I have a, a couple other bits planned, but we'll, we'll see if we'll actually get through it. All right. So diving back. So you started, when was your first TikTok or Instagram where you, post where you were like, okay, I'm going to do this? Um. So this is, honestly, this is my third TikTok account. Really? Yeah. I had a one over COVID. It was just like comedy. It wasn't even to doing with fitness, but I, uh, eventually I was like, like, I'm not enjoying this. It's not something I want to do. I want to do it with fitness. But like I told you over COVID, I couldn't do the fitness thing on yeah. TikTok because I got out of shape and everything. But um, it's crazy to me that you got out of shape. Look how fucking fit you are, bro. I appreciate it, bro. I wish Dog. I saw it, how people see it. But, you know, it's like, body body more for it, bro. <laughs> Dude, you're telling me like anyone who works out and honestly, most people are day and age has body dysmorphia because yeah. especially females, you know, females see in society. My girlfriend had like a whole thing with that mm. and then w- if you're a guy especially you go into fitness bro and you're seeing these jacked motherfuckers yeah. on scene you're like damn i want to yeah that's tough man but then you got ba- you bounced back yeah so you started before pandemic or i started before um i was go- i was doing real good um like i felt like i was i was on track i was doing everything right yeah. i was posting i was consistent you were it happened in the gym closed and I literally shut down, bro. I didn't know what to do, which is like looking back. I wish I didn't do that. I could have did some stuff around home and stuff. Like, yeah, that's my own fault. But it also helped me like realize like and come back stronger. Yeah, like I look better now than I ever have. You um, got to hit a low to get a high. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I mean, I'm grateful for it. Yeah, no, like, for sure. And you got to be grateful for everything. Yeah. I wish I like I wish I was boys with you more at that point during the pandemic because we had the hookup, bro. Yeah. I that was actually the most jacked I ever was. And I know everyone was gaining weight, bro. Yeah. This is the thing. So sleep was good cuz you know what the fuck else is there to do? Yeah. My diet was pretty good. Like I was able to cheat while five or six days out of the week eating really good. And then dude, we had access. I got so lucky. I had friends who had home gyms. I had one place oh, yeah. for squatting. And then I had another guy who we did chess with. And it was just like perfect. Oh, so you were able to work out. Dude, almost yeah. fully. All right, so you started your your thing there. When was the first time that you realized like, oh shit, like I know you probably don't even think it now, but you started actually gaining traction. When was that first point? I, it was the the trends that I used to do of like. Was it you walking in with yeah, your girlfriend? Yeah, walking in. <gasps> yes, bro, those. We're going to talk bro, about that. Those, I have that surprisingly like every time i would post like one 200k 500k 600k like 700k it was insane and i was like it keeps working and it was working so well like because i've done from like 2000 to 7000 then a 20,000 and 30,000 and then like it was working so well i would see other people doing it wow the exact same thing not tagging me or tagging me whatever like it's kind of fucked because like so many people were like bro like this person's copying you and it was just funny Mm. because like actually starting a trend like after just starting on tiktok right like it's crazy to see like i think i'm gonna have a prediction right now i was following your instagram since well i've been following you since but i i've started actually looking at your posts and everything like that it was right before the pandemic because i saw that when you fell off Mm-hmm. And I mean, me and Griffin were talking about that. Yeah. Um, the the crazy thing about all this is, dude, I predict by the end of this year, you're going to be at 100K on TikTok. There's oh, not a lot of people doing what you're doing. There's some. Yeah. Like, I'll see you occasional, but there's not a lot. Like, everyone's got their niches, but you're in a good one. Because I don't think there's enough fitness people on TikTok doing comedy and doing, like, different little skits yeah. and things like that. When was the, uh, what was the first big hit and how much did it views did it have? Oh, the first. Bit. It was that skit for sure, right? I the th- one where you were walking in with your girlfriend. I think so. I think one of those hit like a like one point four. One point four. Jesus Christ, dude! 
Man, dude, I can't even imagine having that many people. Did it, does it ever get to your head? Not in there. Like once the like that happened, I was never like I'm not satisfied. Like, yeah. It's like you want more. I want like not in a you know. Like, uh, yeah, driven. I just want more. Like what does Christian we're say? Just getting started. Uh, proud but not satisfied. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I lost that sweater, but. Oh, you had a load. I, I wanted sweater. that so bad. We're talking about Christian Guzman for all the people listening. Uh, he's a a fa- very very famous uh fitness influencer um all right so real quick before we actually get into the rest of the conversation i want to uh show the viewers and for the listeners a little bit more of your tiktok side raz underscore lifts right that's is that your instagram and your uh yeah. tiktok mm-hmm. okay and you have a new instagram yeah i have a new instagram Why? but i because i was getting real frustrated with like the engagement oh dude no 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 here's the thing i i'm, I'm in an influencing group right now they, they're doing a new transition where videos are getting more uh coverage so actually if you post your reels they're gonna blow up more than pictures okay. it's just natural yeah. uh, all my pictures have gone down i was used to seeing a thousand likes per pictures right now i'm averaging like 800 900 okay. and i'm actually growing which is like what well, i, I yeah. had the same thing as you bro um all right so we have we have Rasan's, uh whole TikTok pulled up right now and I have some uh, videos that I wanted to go through the reason why I picked this first one is actually because it's his biggest hit at the beginning I think uh or this might be your just your biggest hit in yeah, general that, that might be the one the one we were just talking about maybe. maybe all right could you pull the mic a little bit closer when yeah, we're turning yeah. to this all right here we go so we're gonna play this right quick and I'm gonna put all sound really low so I don't get copyrighted just by the way and I, all most of these have music all right, so this one is where he's walking in saying getting home from the gym, and then you, you got this depression vibe, right? Yeah. This one blew up. Yeah, I didn't expect it to. It's, it's the some, ones that you don't expect to blow up. Exactly. Blow up. It's, it's So it's pretty much for the listeners out there. He's walking in from home, from going to the gym, and then there's like red playing, there's sad music, and he's in his uh, thoughts. Dude, I think that one blew up because so many people relate to that. Yeah. A lot of people relate to that. Uh people who go through depression anything any issues they use the gym as a temporary mm-hmm. fix exactly over time it can be a, a actual fix though i noticed yeah you remember zorin right mm-hmm. so zorin he went through dep- like depression with his uh, ex like it was really bad and what got him out of it was working out again yeah he lost so much weight and like dude he got fat during that and like he really bro it was crazy because you remember him he was skinny yeah he was bro. he was fat when he was in that like yeah you got to be careful bro women they'll do it to you yeah they'll really do it to you all right now let's dive into the more like light side of things all right so here's this is one of the ones yeah bro (laughs) Dude, this one had me rolling. All right, so to, let me describe it to everybody who's listening. So he's walking in, and he's going to see his, his girlfriend, which he's playing himself. He's like, hey, babe, could you take a picture of my progress? He's, she's like, maybe later. It'll take two seconds and swear. I don't even see progress. Dude, that shit had me rolling, bro. Dude, how do you come up with these? Well, some of them, like, not all of them, but some of them actually, like, happened. And then some of them, I would just sit Bro, thing. no way did that happen. This one did not happen. Oh, no. I was going to babe. One, no. Who the fuck is that girl? I'll kill her right now. <laughs> dude, it, like, if you look at the comments, people are hated. They're like, oh, leave her, leave her. Like, oh, like, dude, all I'm kind dying. of stuff. They're so, like, Which one is the one that happened? I've seen all of them by now. Uh, I, I, I did my research. I've made so many, bro. I don't, I don't oh, okay. have to look. I Damn. Have to look. I make, bro, every, like, I told, like I said, every time I would post one of those, yeah. it would just blow up. And I was just... Man, it made no sense. Bro. All right, so this is another one that I okay. So the ones that are lower viewed, they're not even lower viewed, but I really picked them because I thought they were really funny. Yeah. So here's another one. Oh, you're natty, one hundred percent. Show me the blood work, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Do you find that like a common thing? Once what? the bigger you get, the more people think you're not yeah. natural. And then like people will like say like, are you like are you natty not? And, it, and like I told you earlier, it's weird because you feel like. I don't even look not natty. Like yeah, normal. it's the body dysmorphia, bro. Yeah. I remember I've only had it twice ever where someone thought I was on something. And they would ask me. It was like older people, too. Yeah. They were just like, are you on anything? And I'm like, bruh. Like, older do you people? See how, yeah, like old, like old people were thinking. And I get it if old people think it because they are not really in tune. But someone who's in tune with like modern day bodybuilders, yeah. there's no way I'm, not, I'm yeah. not not natural. You, you're. I think you're in the spectrum where... People can, an average guy with shit genetics would have to use PEDs to look like you. Yeah. But a guy with decent or good genetics can get attained that naturally. Um, speaking of, are you natural? 
You don't yeah, have to say. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. For now, I would assume. Like I was telling you, yep. BB Pro and stuff. So. We'll we'll talk about that. That's a whole segment I want to get into. Okay. All right. So here's another TikTok that I liked. This is one of your lower viewed ones, but I really like this one. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's pretty much uh, it's Razan looking at the mirror and he's like actually realizing how many muscle imbalances you have, and he's like touching himself and shit, bro. That shit has me cracking because I have so many imbalances, bro. You don't realize until like you're like posing for a little bit oh, and you're like, oh God, what, bro? And they'll be bigger than you exp- like. Oh yeah. Like how did I not see this? What's your biggest imbalance? My biggest, or the imbalance? one that you like hate the most, or just see the most, not hate. Um. I, I'm at the same my legs. My dude, right same. my right quad and my right hamstring is so, so much, much bigger than my left side, bro. Bro. It's it's sucks. so funny cuz like okay, so I really noticed cuz one time I was standing on the stairs at my, at my place and my cousin looks at me and is like, "Dude, your left leg is so much smaller than your right." And I was like, "Really?" Oh, no. And I looked in the mirror and I'm like, "Oh, fuck. Fuck. Dang. And I feel like the bigger you get, the more noticeable it is. Yeah, for someone else to say it too, that would suck. Dude, I was like, <laughs> "Damn." But I mean, me, I kind of accepted it. You, it's harder because you're trying to go pro. So yeah. your body, how it looks actually matters. I don't give a fuck yeah. about my body that much. I kind of embraced it at this point. I'm just like, all right, I got a bigger right side. And my right, like, whole side is a little bit better than my really? left whole side. Yeah. But it's weird. My left side looks more aesthetically pleasing. But it's smaller. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it's very strange. I know what you mean because, like, my right peg is bigger than my left peg. But my right shoulder is so much smaller than my Left shoulder. If I like, damn, that's flare weird. It out, it's so off. I'm like, that's how did so this weird. Um, <laughs> let, let's run through a few more TikToks and then I'm gonna move on to your uh, Instagram real quick. All right. Okay, so. Oh, I like this, I like <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones, bro. All right, so let me run it through real quick, okay? So, hold on, I, I can't play too much music, sadly, because I don't wanna get this. <laughs> All right, so it says starting getting into fit, uh, lifting. And then. Start seeing progress. Most people would be like, oh, that's lit. Some Get some compliments. And then you're like, <laughs> oh, guys. I love that, man. Getting more confidence. Whenever you work out, you know, you get all that stuff. You get a little bit stronger. Everyone's saying you're swole, the pumps. And then the best part, they don't tell you about the body dysmorphia. They don't tell you about the caffeine addiction, which is so fucking true, bro. I'm, a, I'm hooked. Like a fuck, bro. It's crazy. And feeling tiny outside the gym. That The chasing the pump. Yeah. Bro, that is the realest thing anyone's ever said. Bro, honestly, I might go for five plates today. This one is hilarious. What's stopping you? I never tried four. Bro. See, this one, this one's like one that I actually thought about, and I was like, this is going to do really well. It did pretty good. But I feel like... Oh, well, I mean, 10K, actually. I feel like a lot of people, like, don't... Like, they overlook the... I don't know how to explain it. The the message and, like, the, yeah. the humor and, like, every Yeah, because... And that's why I was saying the one that blew up the most for you was literally the most, like, basic one. Really because people can understand that so easily because mm-hmm. there's a lot of dumb motherfuckers. Just like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, all right, so real quick, I'm going to pull up your Instagram. Just because for all the ladies... Are you single? Yeah. Okay, cool, perfect. All right, so for all the ladies watching and the beautiful men out there that are into men, whatever, 2021, look at how fucking jacked this dude is. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to even lie, bro. Pulling these pictures up. I remember at this point, hold on, let me scroll down. There was a certain point where I was like, bro, is he fucking natural anymore? Like, God damn, but it's angles. I know it's angles. Yeah, lighting like, too. Bro, look at that. Look how fucking, dude, that is this a COVID- cut? That was COVID, bro. That was COVID. Yeah. Dude, people will kill for your COVID body. <laughs> people say that, and I'm yeah. like, what? Yeah, bro. You got, bro, you got a really great physique. And I like that you do that specific pose, and I know why you do it. It's Or, or do you know, or do you do it for a specific reason? Why, why are we saying for my waist? No, I was actually going to say because your abs look really symmetrical in that, when you lean like that. Oh, yeah, they're, they're it, like, yeah, yeah, but whenever you do it where a slight angle, it looks more symmetrical. Mm-hmm. I noticed that. Dude, your biceps are fucking out of this world. I appreciate you, brother. Dude, <laughs> if you were to compare your pro- like your peak pics with my peak pics, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be a fucking joke. Dude, you are fucking huge now. And, you know, I, the, when I first saw you today, pull out the car, it was the first time I seen you in like five, six, seven years, right? Yeah. You are so much bigger than you were back then. I appreciate like, it, bro. You were pretty like like fit guy. Like, you were always a fit guy. But now you're like huge, bro. It's awesome, man. I Especially it, being shorter, because yeah. like you're what five eight. You mm-hmm. said 
I'm five four, so I, I inspire. You have a, a an advantage for uh, going pro. Yeah, smaller guys. Um, all right. So we already talked about your TikTok things like that. Now I want to talk about this IFBB Pro thing. Okay. When did you decide that you wanted to? This is what you want to do. Um, honestly, probably maybe six months ago. Okay. Because so, I've, I've always been very competitive. Always playing sports, oh, yeah. wrestling, track, lacrosse, um, football, and I like I always wanted to do fitness and like improve my body and stuff. Right. Do the whole social media thing, and I was thinking like one night, like I was like I want to get a coach and actually like see and push my body to the limits and like actually train because I was watching like Iron World on YouTube. Oh man, and yeah. It's like bodybuilders like act like just fucking crazy locked in like just going nuts like. oh my god and it's just great to see like people pushing themselves to like have the best body that they can and yeah like, take it on stage and compete against the best bodies around the world and stuff like that so i was like i can do this it's so it. motivating like seeing other bodybuilders like i think like obviously there are the top one percent of people who are driven and all that stuff but i think if you're a bodybuilder like per pro you have to be driven. Yeah. And you can apply that to a lot of shit in your life, not just bodybuilding. Like the discipline and the yeah, ha- habitual, exactly. it's so great. Dude, so you decided about six months ago. Mm-hmm. And since then, you've been with a coach, right? Uh, it's coach, who, uh, who is Danny. he again? Danny, Danny Tran. Tran. Shout out to him because he's Vietnamese. I know by the last name. <laughs> I don't really know him, but I've seen him off your Instagram. Yeah. He's fucking he's, jacked. Yeah, he's huge. I saw him in person. Um, maybe two three months ago mm-hmm. and i was like you're <laughs> way bigger is he a pro no nah, he's not pro. okay okay that's fucking crazy he competed though. a couple of times but right now he's really focusing on like his businesses and stuff like that good for him man and you really do need a coach if you're gonna go pro yeah. like especially posing coach that's gonna be really important later on yeah. so what's your timeline when do you think you're gonna uh actually like start your first competition which is probably gonna be amateurs mm-hmm. and then uh when, when do you think your first one will be um, I'm gonna be there. We're gonna right, if it's we're around gonna, here. If it's around here. So we're gonna bulk for the rest of this year, and then January. 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 Okay. February. We'll cut. Start now the cut. And get ready for the stage. So stage would. Uh, if you're starting to cut January, I'm assuming what spring, summer. I mean, it, it would just depend what we're looking like when we yeah. finish. You know, because I don't know how lean I'll be. There's a Greensboro uh, amateur yeah. uh, bodybuilding contest every year. My I, my friend actually won that. For real? Yeah, you want to see him? Yeah. He's he had a pretty banging physique. I ain't gonna lie. His name is Will Anthony. Shout out to Will. Uh, he was in my fraternity. What's your first competition that you want to do? What like we haven't looked really okay. looked yet, but I'll probably. I mean, honestly, I don't know if it'll be around here. Yeah, dude. The competitions here are like meh. Yeah. So because we're going because I asked him to do summer shredding in October and he was like no shot. <laughs> he said no shot. He was like we're going big. <laughs> dude, summer shredding by the way is uh by Christian Guzman, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, I would love to go to that. I've always wanted to just visit and just watch yeah. like everybody. Your friend competed, right? Mm-hmm. I saw that uh yeah. brownie mix uh, whatever yeah. is Jack I don't Brown. know his actual name. Yeah. yeah, that was really cool. Um here's another crazy fact. My uh friend from social media and I actually met him and we had a video together. Mm-hmm. Kabira, he won the very first summer shredding. Really? Overall, the black dude, the short black guy. I'll show him you him too, bro. Kabira, he was the very that first summer shredding familiar. guy to ever win. And I actually didn't even know, which is what's ironic. I just hit him up because him and Nick Dompierre, who's guys that I follow, mm-hmm. uh, I, I was in Tampa and I was like, yo, like we, sh- we should link up. And he was like, yeah, sure. Well, let's go to the skate thing that because Nick is not he's a bodybuilder, but he's also a, a skateboarder. And so we went to that thing and he was telling me, through it, like, yeah, you like uh, bodybuilding and stuff. Like I won the summer shit. And I was like, no fucking way. He yeah. has all the pictures. There. I was like, that's you. Cause you know how different people can look yeah. when they're so lean. And I was yeah. like, damn, I remember watching that video and I was like that. Wow. And I was just like, dude, that's Man, dope. That's crazy. That and he's crazy. our height. He's actually right between us. Dang. So you have a lot ahead of you. are doing physique, right? Yeah. I'm going to start in physique and then we'll probably uh, go to classic. Maybe. You're going to go to classic. Yeah. Legs bro. is my favorite to train, bro. You're gonna have to hop on some. <clears throat> you're going classy. You're gonna have to get on like a, a cycle cycle. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let me show you first. Let me show you the Will Anthony who won the amateurs here. Um, I think he still has his pictures where he won. He did, he did physique and he. So this is him like everyday basis. Mm-hmm. He's a trainer now at um in Wilmington where I went to school. Oh, he's from around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, he was he's from High Point. His quads are crazy. Yeah, his quads are ridiculous. Uh, but let me pull up his up. Uh, there, there's the one where he won. This is amateurs though. Physique. He got first place in uh, true novice class A, 
And dude, look how fucking shredded this guy is. When was this one? This one was God, 2017. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a while ago. I remember him going through the the whole thing because he didn't go to any parties. We were in a fraternity. Yeah. He didn't drink. He didn't fuck. He, he was like MIA. I would only see him at the gym. And my guy was always on the cardio machine, bro. That's how that's how it is, bro. Yeah. Uh, let me show you Kabira. He's the one who won. Uh, now he's he's kind of fallen off from bodybuilding. He mm -hmm. still does it, but he's more into MMA now. But uh, he was the OG guy who won the very first summer shredding. This was uh, four or five years ago, because I think it's it, they're going on to their fifth year. This is him. He's fucking shredded. Yeah. And he has like. I mean, not to be racial, but if you're black, bro, you have, the like, genetics. the best genetics, yeah. like, for bodybuilding. Uh, this is, wait, let me find his summer shredding one. This is one of his posing pics. Uh, he did, where is it, bro? I know he posted it. So there, there's him in Alphalete. There's him in the summer shredding gear. I'm trying to find the one where he was on stage. There you go. Does he still lift, or? Uh, yeah, he still lifts, but he's not as dedicated anymore. Yeah. He's into MMA. That's him in at summer shredding, competing. There's Christian and everything. And this this is the end. You know when you do like the yeah. overall? Yeah, and he won at all. It's ridiculous, they bro. He did classic too. Yeah. Or I don't That's classics when you when you're wearing that. Oh shit. Yeah. I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so like men's physique is the board shorts. Oh, so you did classic, my bad. Classic is the um, Wow. When you're wearing that. I wouldn't expect him to do classic because he has some smaller legs, but good for him, man. Shout out to him. All right, so who is your biggest inspiration? getting into bodybuilding and IFBB as a whole. Is it the GOAT, Chris Bumstead, or is it <laughs> someone else? Honestly, bro, like, um, so we're kind of new into, like, this world. Yeah. So, like, I've I've watched a lot of, you know, like, um, I know most Keon. of them. Yeah. He just yeah. literally just won wow. yesterday. Uh, like he's, I didn't know that. He's short. He's like, I don't know his exact height, but he's wow. pretty short. He's just, Dude. he's killing it right now. Do you do you care about talking about PEDs, by the way? No, I don't care. Okay, you don't care. Okay, let's talk about this then. Right. So you're right now you're natural. Mm -hmm. And everyone out there should know by now, if you're going pro, you are most likely, like 99.9%, .9 you're going to have to be on some type yeah. of PED. Do you think Shawley Coker is, he's on PEDs. He has to be. He's pro. I mean, it's so hard to say. Charlotte Coker is a, a fitness influencer. Anaka. Sorry, I just randomly thought of that. I had a oh yeah, Inaka, you're <laughs> yeah. literally rocking his gear. <laughs> he, I, how, can you even go pro without being on PDs? I mean, you can, but you just gotta have your genetics gotta be crazy. Oh gotta my god, bro, that would be fucking crazy, dude. If you went pro, you know how cool that would be. I would be like, yeah, I had that dude on my podcast. That was my boy from fucking middle school, bro. bro it's gonna happen. It's gonna. It's happen. gonna happen, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch the progress. Are you? Or you're planning on moving to Houston, right? Uh, yeah, I want to move to Texas. Wow. Yeah. Why? I know why, but I, why? Like, <laughs> I, I want to. I've always been here my whole life. Yeah. So like, I want to go somewhere that's like better for like fitness and stuff in Houston. That like, is the hot spot. The gyms and yeah. like the community. Like when we went to um Alpha Lee, I'm so um, jealous, bro. It was it was amazing, bro. Like the environment, oh, everyone in there is like, there are a lot of people talking and stuff, yeah. like collabing and stuff, but also like people like in there working, like yeah. The gym I go to, like there's people working, but you don't see people like focused, yeah, on. like locked in, doing their own thing, like the Alpha Elite gym. You went to the, just the regular Alpha Elite gym. Imagine yeah. going to Alpha Land Alpha when Land. it comes out, bro. I can't wait for it. Though. Alpha Land, if you guys didn't know, so Christian Guzman is pretty much one of the pioneers of fitness. He was one of the OGs on YouTube. He doesn't do too much YouTube now, but he's opened this gym called Alpha Elite Gym, and he has the Alpha Elite brand, which is clothing, and then he f is about to open Alpha Land, which is literally, how would we even describe it? Like the fucking Mecca it's, of it's, all fitness? It's gonna be one of the best gyms, I think, bro. Dude, if it's you got go, three gyms in it. If you go down to Houston, I'm going to visit you just to go to that gym. Be like, yo, let's hit the gym, bro. For sure, bro. I'm down. I'm da dude, I'm <laughs> down. Dude, I feel like I'm scared to work out with you. Why? It's, you feel like you're going to fucking murder me, bro. Uh, it'll be good. Like, when uh, we collabed with a couple people down there, and, like, I feel weird because, like, when I work out, like, yeah. I don't mind working out with people. But, it's like, weird. I... I try to lock in. Yeah, it's like, it's really weird, especially when you're working out with more than one person. Yeah, it I gets really to, weird. Yeah, I try to like lock on, like lock in, and just stay focused and do what I'm trying right. to push myself. But it's it kind of feels I'm being rude to whoever I'm working yep. out with. Yep. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. Do you wear so. headphones or no? Yeah, I I wear uh, AirPods. You wear AirPods. Yeah. I wear AirPods when I work out, but whenever I work out with someone, I don't. 
Cause I'll, I'll do the one. I put uh, one on my ear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I see that. We we need to work out sometime. Uh, speaking of working out, what's your numbers like? Are you purely into bodybuilding, or do you ever strength train too? Like like uh, what is it? Powerlifting. Uh, so b- the thing before I started wanting to do bodybuilding, I yeah. actually hired a powerlifting coach. No and fucking my, way. My numbers were going up, and then I was like, I don't like this is That's what, not I what you want to do. Yeah. And. The then, money's not there, to be honest. The highest I've hit on bench was 315. Fuck, but, bro. I dream about that. You know that? Bro. I sit at night and I... Dude, fuck 315. I dream about repping 225 because I can only rep it twice. I'm like... I am I dream about like, oh, I can hit, hit that six times. We got you. We'll <laughs> you hit you there, 315. Bro. God then, damn. But my legs, like... um, Where was I? I was around the same spot on squat and deadlift. It was like... Um, but wait, by the way, for all the listeners out there, 315 is... Or anyone... Uh, is, th- is three plates on each side, which is fucking ridiculous. And then squat and deadlift, they were both around like 475. 475. You know what? I'll never forget this. I remember I was in... um. I just graduated college. I had just started the whole YouTube scene, started being more into fitness. And I pulled up your Instagram and you were working out at Planet Fitness at this time. And oh, I, yeah, this is the throwback. <laughs> and you worked there, right? Yeah. You yeah, yeah, yeah. There. We're going to talk about that too. Right. Um, so you were you were working out at Planet Fitness and I saw you squatting three plates on each side at, uh, with the Smith machine. Mm-hmm. And I was like... Wow, that he he really upgraded, but I I noticed your depth wasn't low enough in that video. Yeah, I remember that, and I didn't say anything. I sent it to Zorn, and and we were just like we just thought about that. Then literally like months later, I see you working out at a separate gym on your Instagram, and you were posting. Uh, it was like three plates and a half, so th- that's what three sixty five. Uh, and you were going. Yeah, and I, I was like, it. yo, my guy really fixed that I fixed shit. It, yeah, because I I didn't realize when I was doing it. Yeah. I get it. I wasn't going like, and I was like when you're doing it, you ugly. don't notice. Yeah, dude, four seventy five is your max. Yeah, but I I feel like, damn, that's crazy. Four seventy five. That's guys for everyone listening out there. That's four plates, two twenty fives, and two tens. That's fucking crazy. I like I, want I would break myself to try to like do more. But no, don't right please. Now. Because we're bulking for the first well, time. Well, not even that. If you're a bodybuilder, it's not worth it. Yeah, it's definitely it's not. It's really not worth it. If that's your goal, um, an injury will literally set you back so far. And yeah. that's the highest risk of injury. Just going higher up is so much safer. If you pull something in the gym, bro, which with maxes, it's yeah. very likely that you can. Bro, that would set you back. So just be yeah, safe. I'm yeah, not yeah. going to. I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's ridiculous numbers, bro. How much do you weigh? Uh, right now, 175. You weigh 170? Okay, when you were doing those lifts, like 165? Dude, it's crazy to me that you only weigh 175. Uh, you look so much bigger than you are. I'd say like 160 something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. You're 175. I'm 146, but at my peak, like fat, peak fat, like pure bulk, I'm 160. So I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, you're four inches taller than me, and you're only 15 pounds higher than my peak. And I'm like, dude, you look so much more jacked than I do. When I'm 160, bro, I feel like I look like the marshmallow dude from uh, uh, Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. Or oh, Michelin oh. Man, pretty much. <laughs> same fucking guy. Yeah. That's fucking crazy, bro. Those are ridiculous lifts. Um, okay, so what is your favorite muscle to work out? Legs. That was one. Legs? Yeah. Really? Legs is You're favorite. rare. So rare. Yeah. No one says that. I posted that like that on TikTok, and people were like, "What the? What are yeah. you talk about?" <laughs> Only women, like mo- mostly women, like legs, but yeah. like guys were chest and back. All right, but between chest and back, what would you pick? I'm gonna have to say chest. Same. Yeah. We're not working out legs together. I'm All too right. scared. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to do another muscle. <laughs> Last question before we go on break, and remember, guys, stay tuned because right after break, we're gonna have a fun segment where he's gonna be trying out sugar-free uh, energy drinks blindfolded. All right, so real quick question. Top three fitness brands, clothing, clothing. brands, yeah, if clothing or any like any physical like brand like it can it can it technically a Naka would count because it has like the wrist wraps and all that stuff. Any fitness brand. So like one would be like who I basically okay. like who I would want to be sponsored by. Yeah, sure. That's an even better question. Who would you want to be sponsored by? Top three. One, I would yeah. say a Naka. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's I, dope, I like bro. Their style and clothes. Yeah. And then, like, Shali is just, I love Shali. Yeah, Shali's a great guy. Um, he used to coach me when I was first. Yeah. No fucking way. Yeah, bro, I uh, um, hired him. Like, I was talking to him for a little bit. And wow. I was, like, when I, that was back when I was, like, wow, that's just crazy. got out of college. I just didn't know what I was doing. I was just like, Dude. I look up to him. I'm a... <laughs> 
Did you meet any of them when you were in Houston? No. That's kind of a surreal moment if you when when you're down there you're gonna run into them. Yeah, I saw I saw Christian, but he was doing the summer shredding thing. So oh he was yeah, 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 busy. With busy yeah, I didn't see Shali. Do you think Russ, you get nervous? Because so, um, you know we like watched them and we kind of looked up to them. But I know you did because I did too. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I would get nervous, but I would just feel like I would have so much to say. Like yeah, it must be I, hard being yeah, them because yeah. they like walk into the gyms. There's a bunch of people trying to get pictures with them and all that yeah. shit. You know. Because I've met celebrities, and when I first met one, I was so nervous. I was so like, but then once you meet a couple, you kind of, you respect them, but then you get this understanding that like, okay, they're just normal people. Yeah, it's, it's just, just yeah. And then supporters. In us. And then one day, one day someone's going to run into the gym and be like, yo, can I get a picture with you? Bro, that happened to me. That happened I'll to believe, you? Yeah, I believe bro. it, bro. Yeah. I believe it. It, it feels crazy. It's crazy. Craziest thing in the world. I've only had it happen to me twice ever. It and one was, good, yeah, man. one was at the local gym here. And then one was a kid that watches my food videos. Yeah. Ridiculous. And also this is really random. One of the guests that I'm getting on the podcast, who's a big guest, like, like, I'm really excited. His dad watches my videos. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, that's so <laughs> random. But yeah, anyways. All right, so we knock a number one. Top two. Anaka, number two, I would say. My number one would be Alphalete. I love Alphalete, yeah, bro. Yeah, Alphalete's nice. They have a bunch of stuff. They just got so much gear for me. I, I like their style. That's They fit mine. Alphalete would probably be my number two. Yeah, I believe that. And then three, I would say. I think three. Do you know Raw Gear? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bradley I know Raw Martin. Gear. Really? Raw would be a good one. But the only thing about that is I've I've heard like he has so many athletes and I don't want to uh, be with the team. That's why I like Anaka so much. They have very select athletes, and like if you're an athlete for them, they're gonna use you. They're gonna show you off, dude. But having like seventy athletes, he only shows like. Let's talk this into existence, Anaka. If anybody's watching, that's working. Probably not, but if you are, sponsor this dude. You'd they rock that gear, TikTok. bro. <gasps> Dude. It's gonna happen, bro. I promise. It's, it's, gonna, happen. it's gonna happen. For it's sure. for sure gonna happen, dude. This whole fucking thing that I'm doing happened because I manifested it. You're gonna fucking. It's gonna happen, bro. You're gonna be an IFBB pro. I'm gonna see you in a year and be like, "Yo, I know that guy." I'll be like that, dude. Bro. Yeah, yeah. And when I come down to Houston, we'll get a crazy workout. All right, so guys, everybody, we're gonna take a quick break for the sponsor. I actually have a sponsor for once. That's really awesome. I'm really excited for that. And cut to the quick break. Oh, hey there. I know for sure, without a doubt, that you guys have all been staring at my fresh outfit. And if you guys are listening to this, I know for sure that your ears can sense how fresh I look right now. Nothing makes an outfit more complete than the pair of pants that you wear. And that's why today's sponsor is Western Rise. And let me tell you guys a little bit about why Western Rise is officially my favorite pair of pants that I own. So right now I am wearing the Evo pants, as you guys can see. It is super fitted, and on top of it being super fitted, it's very comfortable. Look at the stretch in this, guys. I feel like I can just, you know, go work out in these and pop some squats, you know what I'm saying? Not only is it comfortable and stylish, but on top of that, it is water, stain, and smell proof. What do I mean by that? So I can spill water on me right now, which I'm gonna do. I actually have coffee, so this is gonna be fun. Boom, comes right out. I'm gonna give you guys a little close up. Boom, look, I, it's not even wet. It's ridiculous. It comes right off. Not only that, it's stain proof and it's smell proof. You can barely smell the coffee now. And I love that. You know, the, all the times that you guys go out and you guys are constantly worried about not only making your pants dirty, but if it smells bad from going to a, like a restaurant or something like that, now you don't have to worry about it. Because with Western Rise, it is wonderful. I'm currently rocking the Evolution pants and I got it in like this dark blue color, which is super dope. Look at it. Bam. And on top of being water stained and smell proof, they got a hidden pocket. Check that out. There's a hidden pocket right here where people can't steal stuff, especially if you're in a dangerous area. Tell me that ain't clutch. And I know what you're thinking. How can it get any better than this? And let me tell you guys how. Western Rise is so confident in the material of their products that you get a lifetime warranty. And on top of that, you can try it out for seven days for free. And Western Rise is actually hooking it up for all the listeners of the Chewing Grounds right now. You guys can use code TCG for the Chewing Grounds, TCG, or go on Western rise.com slash tcg and you can get 10 percent off and free shipping on the best pair of pants you guys will ever own and i promise you that you guys can use the code and if you guys are watching the video it'll be right here it'll be the first link on the description box down below again it is code tcg or westernrise.com slash tcg and you're gonna get 10 percent off and free shipping get your new favorite pair of pants right now you guys won't regret it all right now back to the podcast 
All right, guys, we are back from break, and as you can see, he can't. Um, he, this is going to be really... You like that? Yeah. You like that? All right. <laughs> so we are doing the blind taste test segment of my podcast. This is kind of kind of became my thing. I like these. They're really fun to watch. And I actually have the um, energy drinks that we're going to be trying today right in front of me so that you guys can actually see what he's trying while he can't see, which is going to be really fun. All right. So we have five energy drinks and this is how it's going to work. He's going to run his hands up to whichever one I, I just uh, tell him to get. And he's going to try it out, switch it around, whatever he wants to do, smell it, stick it up his butt. I don't, you know, I don't know what you're into, but uh, you're going to see if you can determine the brand of energy drink the flavor, which is going to be the hard part. And then just give me a one out of 10 just for fun because I wanted to know if you like it or not. Right. Um, I have all the brands here. So the five brands that are going to be in the running at all is going to be Rain, Monster, 3D, Bang, and Rockstar. And just to let you guys know, these are all sugar-free or um, or like the what, whatever, like the lowest calorie form where it's all of them are pretty much zero. Before you start, I do want to do this little quick thing. Uh, Sanzo, this brand, I know you can't see, so don't worry. Uh, Sanzo, this brand of um, sparkling water gave me free Sanzo. This is a not sponsored, but they gave me a free drink, so I want to try it on camera real quick. Thank you so much, Sanzo. You guys are awesome. You guys have really interesting flavors. They have, like, lychee and stuff, and I love sparkling water. Hold up. Let me just try it real quick. Oh, that's banging, bruh. All right, interesting. Tastes just like mango. Okay. All right, so we got five drinks in front of us. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? All right, you want to start left or you're right? It's uh, up to you. I'll start on this side. All right, go ahead. So we're going to run your hands real slowly up there. Yep, just like you're running your hands through a girl's pants all right yeah i know you know experience all right there you go there you go all right so reach up for the cup perfect so this is the this is what he's reaching for guys he can't see it but uh, i have it up right now give it a sip here or smell whatever you want oh yeah describe to me what you're feeling here that's cotton candy cotton candy okay so the flavor is cotton candy is what he's guessing okay cotton candy and he's swishing it around, tasting it. How do you feel? Do I guess now? Uh, well, how, do you like it? Mm, it's all right. Okay, one out of ten. It's kind of sweet. Uh, I'm going to say a six. A six, okay. All right, what of the five brands do you think it is? There's Rain, Monster, 3D. Uh, there is, uh, what else? Um, there's Rockstar. There is Bang. Mm, I think it's, oh, my bad. I think You're it's uh, again, bang. bang. Okay, bang is your guess. All right, that's that's a fair guess. I Let think me it's bang or rang. Down. Bang or rang. <laughs> and you think it's uh, cotton candy. Yeah. Cotton candy, bang. Go ahead and reach for a little bit to your right. Yep, or your left, I mean. I'm tripping. Yep, right there. So this is going to be the second one. All right, you reached for the cup, and he's going to be drinking it now. All right, how do you feel about this one? Oh. Oh. I've never had this. Oh, you never had this. This is perfect. He's got a good memory, if you can tell. Okay, what if the four that you haven't guessed do you think it is? Well, let me, I'm just going to bring it all out because you can guess Bang again if you need to. Okay. So there's Bang, 3D, Rain, Monster, and Rockstar. You can guess the flavor, too. Maybe, maybe this is 3D? 3D. Okay. What flavor do you think it is? What are you thinking? What are you thinking right now? This is a tough one. I'll tell you that. Like, like a I'm, I'm trying these mango? with him, by the way. Pineapple mango? Maybe? Pineapple mango. Okay, that's a fair guess. All right, so let's reach for that middle cup now. Or after you. Yep, perfect. You know, I haven't got to try the first cup that you tried. I'm going to try it right now just to see. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Oh my god. It's crazy to me that these are like zero calorie and stuff. Because they have so much flavor in them. Alright, yeah. Let me know how you feel about this one. So he's on to the third cup, which is this right here. Not gonna say anything. Do you think you've had oh, this wait. before? I didn't Oh you didn't rate the last yeah. one. Yeah, what'd you rate I like the last that one? one? I'd say like eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay. And what do you think about this third one? Bro, this is hard. Yeah, the third one, this is going to be really hard. This is definitely the hardest blind taste test we've had yet. Because there's so many energy drinks out there. Again, just a refresher. You got Monster, Rain, 3D, Bang, Rockstar. In no order. I've been switching up the order each time I say it. First of all, do you like it? Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad, okay. 
I'm tasting it with you, and I'm like, bro, I don't know how I do. I feel like this uh -huh. is 3D. Okay, I'll put that down. So he thinks the third cup is 3D. Orange. I'm holding up what it actually no, it's is. Not orange. I don't know what it is. Orange. Man. Do you want to submit orange? I don't think I have a choice. Le Go ahead. What do you think? I'm going to say lemon or something. Lemon. lemon okay, and what, what, what out of 10? Uh, I'd say eight. Eight. Okay, that's a good one. All right, you ready for the fourth one? This is hard, bro. Yeah. All right, oh, he's sniffing it. Strong. That one smells really strong. I'm curious on what you think the flavor of this one will be. This has got to be Rockstar. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! All right, I've never so he's a Rockstar. This this type before. All right, so you think it's Rockstar? What flavor do you think it is? Um. Oh my gosh! I just tasted it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> So he's, he immediately said Rockstar. What flavor are we feeling? The first one you guessed was cotton candy. The second one was pineapple mango. And the third one was lemon. Yeah, he's going to get another swig. Get that good taste in there. Dang, man. <laughs> Dude, this is hard. I'm going to tell you, this is easily the hardest blind taste test yet. I'm going to say lemon. We're just going to throw lemon out. All right, so another lemon. But this time it's with Rockstar. One out of ten. Uh, five. I don't like that one. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, and then, yep, right, perfect, right there. And then just to your left, yep, perfect. Last cup here. What are we thinking this is? This is monster. This is monster. He's smelling it. He he thinks it's monster. Now he's going to taste it. Do you still think it's monster? Crap, no. <laughs> oh, shit. But the, it smelled like monster. Yeah, I thought it was. Okay. Alrighty. Interesting. He's giving a little bit of a tasty tasties. So it smelled like monster, but it doesn't taste like it. I at mean, all. it might be a monster that I've never f tasted before. Okay, what flavor are we thinking? Monsters do have a lot of grape. flavors. Grape. Okay, grape. I just burped. I don't know if monster has a grape. This might be a three D grape, bro. <laughs> a three D grape? Are we going with that? No, nah, we got to go with monster grape. Okay, what at, one out of ten? Um, I'd say seven and a half. Real quick, before we go through every single guest that you've had, what is your favorite brand? Of energy drink because i'm just curious if you like ranked I, it good i, or not. I really like I, I like monsters and i like um i want to say i want to uh, say monsters monsters is your yeah. favorite okay yeah. all right do you how how old do you think you did terrible <laughs> <laughs> i got it terrible are you ready to run it down are you seeing the the colors yeah yeah dude that one has the most interesting color it looks like piss when i poured it i was like what the fuck this is the one i said grape yeah what? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Dude, I tried it, and I was like, that does kind of taste like grape. I was like, oh, I, I see where you're going with these. All right, so the first one that you ever tried, you guessed Cotton Candy Bang, 6 out of 10. You were incorrect. It was a rain, and it was actually blueberry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but you know what? I'm trying it, and it, it I tried it, and it does taste like cotton candy. So, I mean, Razzle Berry is pretty much cotton candy, I guess. So I'll, yeah. I'll give you half points. Right. Half point for that one. All right. The second one he thought was a pineapple mango 3D, and it was a sugar-free monster. Just a zero ultra. Bro, that's really one of my favorite monsters. <laughs> dude, it's okay, dude. This is my favorite one. You want it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Um, although you did stay true to yourself because you gave that the highest score. And it is your favorite, yeah. so it works. Um, all right. The third one you thought was a 3D lemon. You get half points. It was a 3D. It is uh, and blueberry blue, but it was oh, a 3D. Man. So you got that. You got that. So you, he's two for four, uh, three right now, technically, if you count with the flavors and stuff. The third, the fourth one you thought was a rock star lemon. You were pretty confident on that too, just not the flavor. You were thinking yeah. about the flavor. It uh, and you said it was the most trash one. Yeah. Okay. I like that one. It was actually bank. <laughs> Oh my god. Bang candy apple Chris. And I will agree with him. It is trash. <laughs> I tried this shit. Hold up. It has this weird like syrup taste. Yeah, it's weird. Mm, bro. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. That's the worst one. I'm throwing that out of the way. The last one you thought was a grape monster. Grape was a great guess because I tried it and it does taste like grape. Um it is actually oh, a rock star. It's a rock star sugar free. I thought it was gonna be way worse. Actually yeah. ended up being not that bad. I thought the one that felt the weirdest would be the rock star. I thought I've so never too. I've had it. I've had it and it was trash when I had it. And this one, not as yeah. bad as I thought. That was fun, man. You did pretty good. You got two out of like five. That's I pretty thought, good. Yeah. I, at least I got some. Yeah. And they're like <laughs> really hard to get. And like, who knew that rock star? Not bad. Not bad at all. 
All right, back to the conversation. All right, when we were on break, I wanted to talk to you about this, so I'm going to bring it up now. PEDs, performance enhancing drugs. Obviously, you have to take them to be pro almost all. Um, there might be a dude out there that went pro without it. Who knows? Uh, but what have you done any research into PEDs? A little bit. Yeah? Which, yeah. which ones are you kind of like, hmm. Well, I was just trying to see, like, the right, like, how to start off if you're going to do it. Is your trainer... Does your trainer have any knowledge on PEDs? Like, does he do any, or does he I know? Mean, I don't. I'm not sure if he does any or not, but um, I know he knows. Like, cause he's been lifting since he's been like 16. Oh yeah, he's got to have a knowledge. So then. yeah, yeah, he definitely knows his stuff, and I would definitely go to him. Like, if I was started or not. If okay. I have to. So here's my thing with PEDs. There's so many. You got to be careful, cause there's some that will fuck you, and there's some that won't. Yeah. And everybody's bodies are different and shit too. Like that whole new wave is uh, SARMs. Do you know about that? I mean, I'm, I'm on being on TikTok. That's all you see on the fitness really? side is a is a bunch of little kids taking. Bro, SARMs. all the TikTokers, like not even fitness people, just TikTokers that want to look good, they're on SARMs or PEDs, and I'm just like, bro, if you're if you're trying to be pro, that's different. Yeah. If you're a fitness influencer, even I can understand that. Like you want to look really good, I get it. Well, even, even going pro, like, you wouldn't, like, SARMs is not, I've heard it's not the way to go. Like, that's Yeah, no, it's not, do. but, okay, here's my whole thing with all of that. If you are, one, doing, okay, obviously, you guys all have the freedom to do whatever the fuck you want. It's your body, I understand. But if you're young, here's the thing. If you're a pro bodybuilder, I get it. If you're a fitness influencer, I kind of understand. You, it's your image, it's what makes you money, do whatever you can do to look good. If you're just some fucking random TikToker or something that just wants to look good, just work out. You don't have to fucking get on SARMs, take a yeah. shortcut. It's different when you're deep in the game, you've been working out for years, and you want to hit that next level. But, like, I see uh, a great example is they're called the TikTok house or whatever, the, the sweat, sway house. I don't remember. But it's all those top TikTokers. They're, like, young. Oh, yeah. It's, like, six, six or seven of them. Three or four of them are on PDs. I'm like, Why? You guys are like 18, 19, and you don't even look like, I mean, I they do look fit, that. but they don't look like you, like, at all. That's but crazy. they're on SARMs. Uh, two of them are on SARMs. One of them's on, like, TRT or something. It's crazy. There's lately it's crazy, on, bro. There's been turning, like, a girl that's taken SARMs. Really? Yeah. Bro, she probably looks weird, man. How do you feel about this whole, uh, do you do you know about the transgenders uh, competing in, uh, like, so there's that one, there's a girl in Europe who is tran considers herself transition to a female, which was a guy, was originally a guy, and allowed to compete in weightlifting in the women's uh, weightlifting body uh, on the Olympics. Do you think that should be allowed? That's a tough one, bro. That is tough. Because they, they say they're a girl, but for most of their life, they've been a guy. So that strength and stuff. That's what I'm saying. And apparently, like, her testosterone is lower now because she's been taking medication and stuff. But I'm still thinking in my head, I'm like, bro, her whole life, she's been lifting big weight, though. You know? Yeah. It's different. I don't know. I feel bad I for the... Know. There's a girl who uh, wanted to make the team, and she couldn't make the team because that girl made it in front of her. I'm just like, damn. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's a hard one, bro. And I'm not trying to get canceled, but, you know? <laughs> yeah. That shit is tough. Um, okay. So PEDs... If you did get into it, it would probably have to be what I'm assuming after your first few competitions or something. Would you want to start before or? Um, I mean, I, that's a tough. It's story. it's tough because like I, like I said, I'm kind of new to the whole like your your fit in the bodybuilding. Your physique right now is good enough to compete uh, amateur. I think so. Like a natty show, oh, easily. Yeah. Your physique is like, and you know those guys are a lot of them are in gear. Yeah, and you you could smoke them if you pose right. Yeah, you have to pose right. That's the hardest part. Yeah. You're, how much would you, when you were cutting, how much did you weigh? I got to 158. Damn, bro. So you were leaner than me on my bulk. <laughs> That's crazy. That's really crazy. Because I'm shorter than you. Yeah. I'm like four inches shorter. That's really And you look so fucking shredded. Okay, what do you think is harder? Deep bulking or deep cutting? I haven't deep cut yet. Like, oh. Yeah, but right, bulking and like having the like... Force feed. Be full and yeah. still keep eating. Yeah. It's tough, bro. Because it's literally like, I feel like there's been points where I feel like I'm going to be sick and I just have to keep eating and I'm just like, bro. You know what's the craziest thing? Everyone listening to us right now that don't do bodybuilding and don't has haven't ever experienced that, they're going to be so confused in the fact that like, oh, you're eating a lot and it's hard for you. And I'm like, bro, you don't get it. Like, yeah. 
once you're deep into it and you have to eat a certain amount, it's so fucking hard, dude. Yeah. I remember because I, I was trying to bulk and stuff, dude. Uh, and doing it clean is really hard. Doing it like with dirty food is easy. Yeah, see, I've never, like I told you, COVID, I didn't really, I wasn't trying to bulk. I just fell off. But um, like I'm eating everything clean, like I told you, salmon, steak, chicken. Bro, that's rice. crazy. So, like it's like four thousand calories of just all clean food. Anyway, dude, I saw what he was eating during break, guys. He was eating like fucking cardboard, and it, <laughs> <laughs> it's like chicken, green beans, and rice, bro. Just that's the most bodybuilder <laughs> ass shit I've ever seen, bro. No, that's dope. Okay, so also on break, I was thinking about something. So we went to middle school together. We went to high school too. Uh, we were really friend. Like I consider us really good friends. Eighth and ninth grade because i have memories with you it was me you and dale and it was okay so you, i'm sure every listener out there is gonna know that feeling you get when you first go to a new school you're lost you're nervous you're really excited and there's like you're going to high school for the first time so we all went to western together and i was super nervous and we were all coming from guilford middle together and I remember, I was like, yo, like, I don't, like, you know that feeling? You're like, oh, my yeah. God, it's like a whole new world. Everyone's so, it's so big, and there's so many people. And I remember I had a few friends from eighth grade that I still were friends with, and it was Eric, and, like, uh, cause some of my actual friends, like, other friends, too, they, like, went to other schools. So I had Eric, you, Dale, and stuff, right? And I will never forget the football games that we would go to freshman year, yeah. and we would try to, like, talk to girls and shit. And we were so awkward, right. and we Dude. I've always been super awkward, bro. Like, no, not always. No, I'm You're saying not now, like, but no, back not then. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, bro. <laughs> like, so I, funny. I was not confident, like, yeah. inside or anything. Dude, bro. no <laughs> fucking guy was back then. Are yeah. you kidding me? I was super insecure, dude. And it, it's just so funny because I remember, like, in high school, I think, I think you were the first out of that small group. Wait, no, you and Dale, who actually got girlfriends. And I know Dale was, I think, first. And then I, I, I don't want to say her name, but I know someone that you dated. And I was like, damn, good for you, Rosa. Good for you. you can say it. I mean, right? I mean, I don't want to say her last name. Start with a K. Oh. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> and, and I didn't know her personality. Yeah. But I only knew her by her looks. And I was like, hey, good for you, bro. Yeah. And I didn't have a girlfriend at the time. So I was like, though, these guys, bro, these guys are, they got, they involved from where, <laughs> where we were at. <laughs> Cause I remember we were going to football games and we were like, t we would like, um, I don't know, we were messaging back then or whatever, but we would all be like, yo, are y'all going to the game? We would all go to the game and yeah. we would kind of sit with each other. But then once we could see girls we could talk to or like people we could meet and then we would like separate and shit, yeah. dude, man, how do, how was your middle school and high school career? You like it? You didn't like it? Mm, I mean, looking back. Yeah. I Like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You you didn't I'm guessing you didn't hate it, but you also didn't like love it. Yeah. It was all right. Okay, that's cool. Do you have any favorite teachers? Favorite teachers? Yeah, I was talking to LJ about that too. Um any re you recall? Abbo, bro. Coach Abbo. Abbo Abbo was probably always eighth grade. My favorite. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Coach Abbo. He got me in lacrosse and we always stayed wow. in touch, bro. He was uh history. Mm -hmm. And then when we graduated the next year he came to Western, bro. Did he? Yeah, he he's at Western. I don't know if he is still now, Whoa. but he went to Western. And I was like, come on. That's wild. I, he was a nice guy. I remember in his class, I hated history, but he made everybody read seven things, uh, the book. Mm -hmm. It was like a seven things to improve yourself or some shit like that. And I remember I was like, oh, that's really cool. Who was that? The one girl teacher, um, English. Uh, Shan Sanchez? Are we talking eighth grade or? Uh, or high, school, high school. High school. Oh, uh, there's Long a couple. hair. Everyone loved her, bro. Uh, she was awesome. So there was Miss Carper, Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson. Jackson. She started dating the football, one of the football she, coaches. They're right? married. Really? Yeah, we, we're in contact. Dang. She, they're married. That's Shout awesome, out to Miss Jackson. That's yeah. awesome. And it, it was so w crazy because so many guys that I was in school with, uh, we were in school at that time, had a crush on Miss Jackson. Yeah, I and used to. <laughs> Shout out Miss Jackson. I used to. Bro. She, was, she was just cool, man. She was awesome. Bro, am I not mistaken? You played football. Yeah. What position did you play? Uh, running back and corner. When, how, what years did you play? You didn't play freshman year. I think it was the second. Yeah. And I was going to play third, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I started drifting to the cross. Yeah. Because, yeah. You have a build for a running back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, lacrosse, dude, I I tell people this all the time. I'm like, I regret not playing lacrosse, bro. It, 
Bro, a lot of people step on the cross and still do. It's amazing. Bro. It's so fun, bro. I picked up a stick for the first time just t- t- hossing around in high school, and I was like, fuck, this is fun. Yeah. And I was like, damn. Because I played soccer, and I was like, I had an endurance for it, but I I think I was too big of a pussy to get hit. Yeah. Like, and I was too scared it, to get and hit. And it's never like, a lot of people are always scared to get hit, but it, it never hurts. Unless uh, you get injured. Pads, I guess, yeah. Unless you get injured, like the adrenaline you have playing, and Did as long as you don't like tense up. Right. <laughs> like, Did you, you ever locker up. box? Locker box? Yeah, because I know that's a thing. I think I locker box a couple times, but I don't remember who. That's fucking wild. Dude, I'm, bro, I would have been bullied. A lot of people didn't want to, like, when it, like. Yeah, because look at you, bro. I didn't look like this, though. True, but. I know Kevin, no one wanted to go against Kevin. Bro, fuck. Kevin was huge. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy how far back everything went. And then look at you now, man. You're going to be even start, bigger. Bro. It's just For start. real, bro. You're going to be in Houston, probably. Houston or where specifically? Houston. Be Houston. Houston. It's expensive. I have some connections down there. I'll yeah. definitely visit. Yeah, I have a girl who's coming on the podcast. Um, she's she lives in Houston and she's a fitness influencer as well. Oh, she's got two hundred k, I think, or something like that. Jeez. Yeah, I know these motherfuckers are crazy. Bro. <laughs> I'm over here just chilling with my like four thousand on on YouTube. <laughs> Tell me, man, what's what's your next biggest plans? Um, like goal wise, goal wise with social media with besides <laughs> just moving. So I want to get, obviously I want to hit 10K on IG and then for TikTok. That'd be easy. I want to get that 50 and then once I hit that 50, I'm really trying to just shoot up to 100. Yeah, like, dude. I've, like, I How often like do you post? The past two days I haven't been posting as much, but I usually post at least three times a day. The past two days. The fact that you said the past two days I haven't been posting as if that was like a big thing. That's the thing I don't get about TikTok. Y'all motherfuckers are hustlers, bro. I post on YouTube like... Well, the podcast once a week, but YouTube, like, two or three weeks, bro. That's how, like, I just got, ah, man, I can't imagine doing that much content. Yeah, I, I, I try to put at least three videos out a day. That's crazy. How do you even come up with this material? Bro, I sit in, like, people ask me that all the time. They're like, you come out with original, like, content. I literally will just sit there and just and think just about think. it. Like, I'll listen to the sounds, the trending sounds, and you just be like, what can I turn this into? Damn, that's what people don't understand about the art of like social media and stuff. It's it's hard. It's work. It's yeah. not like it's just, we just know what we're doing all the time. I had to set this shit up, yeah. and like you have to think about all those skits. I'm I, when I was watching it, I was just like, how the fuck did this, you think of this? Yeah, because a lot of a lot of I mean, a lot of people like it works for some people. That they'll see yeah. your stuff and just copy you, right? But like actually like thinking of like trying to think of your own stuff, right, like, right. Not do the same thing over and over. It's actually tough sometimes, bro. I just thought about something that I wanted to throw out there. Okay, you used to work at Planet Fitness. Yeah, bro. Tell me about that shit, bro. Um, how would how what why? I don't know, bro. I, I was just trying to work. Okay, tell me the secrets, bro. <laughs> do you guys actually have someone in the lunk alarm sounding that shit off? Yeah, yeah, we do it. So th- what the fuck, <laughs> bro? I want to yo all the Planet Fitness motherfuckers out there that work there. Fuck you guys. You know why? I had I've sound that off so many times. Just me, like. I- oh, and you thought it was just like loud noise. It goes off. So <laughs> I originally thought that for the longest time, and then my cousin or my friend had a friend who worked or something, and they said that there's someone who actually sounds it off. I was like, bro, so they're an asshole. Yeah, every time, like, if we can hear it from the desk, we have to, even if we don't want to, our boss, like, Oh, makes it. some yeah. places are stricter than others, yeah. too. Yeah, just depends on the management. You are living proof that you can get gains anywhere. Because you were working out at Planet Fitness at yeah. one point. And that's like, bro, I hate Planet Fitness. Bro, I don't like Planet Fitness either, but I mean, I mean, I understand it's, it's better than nothing, though. Beginners, and it's cheap. Yeah. yeah, it's cheap. But, like, bro, sometimes, like, Seeing what the people are doing in there, it's just like, bro. It's what's so the funny. weirdest thing you've ever seen at Planet Fitness? The weirdest. weirdest shit. I've seen a lot of weird shit, bro. I've seen some weird shit at all gyms though, but Planet Fitness is the most. I, I mean, the I'll just say that the way people use like their form and stuff. Yeah, like I was about to say I saw this old dude once doing a lat pull down, and he was doing it like wiggling it down, and I'm like, bro, there's nothing that you can get out of that. Yeah, like. I'm not laughing. I'm just saying it's. it's I'm fun. laughing. It's I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's funny because <laughs> like. Hilarious. Like, they have trainers walking around, but, like, they don't even, like, really help. Dude, those Something trainers aren't that. getting paid shit. Yeah. They're getting paid nothing. They don't get a commission or anything. They get, like, a... Dude, I'm pretty sure a trainer gets paid worse than, like, a teacher, bro. There. Like, I remember... Or at Planet Fitness. But at other gyms, they give you commission and shit, so you make more. Dude, Planet fucking Fitness, man. That's literally, like... I remember... That's where I started, because it was just $10. Yeah. Super and, yeah. And then I just... You, you... Once you can lift the heaviest weight there... 
It only goes to what seventy five pounds. Yeah, to and think I, about I can chest now. press that, yeah. and I'm just like, dude, that's like fucking joke, bro. Can't even do anything. What was I gonna? The, how I stopped working there, bro, mm-hmm. is I was working. I think first or second shift or whatever. No first shift, and then like they had a sh- like people quit. Mm-hmm. So um, once they quit, they tried to move. They basically forced me to move to third shift. So I would go in at ten o'clock and get off Damn. at six in the morning. And they were like, "I'm sorry to do this, but like this is the only position we have. And if like if you can't do it, then you were working weird hours. Yeah, because you were posting really fucking late and shit. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's crazy, bro. And I did it for like a week, and I was like, I can't. Yeah. Do, I'm, I'm I'm up when everyone's asleep. Yeah. Like, okay, <laughs> what is the three worst type of gym goers? Like, the, like you fucking hate those people in the gym. This is a great lesson for everyone listening. Uh, I'm going to say people who don't re-rack their weights. Oh, I <laughs> fucking hate, bro. And especially the ones that do, like, a, uh, supersets and they don't re-rack. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, you guys are the fucking worst. All right, what's another one? Or, like, um, people who don't, like, like, if you're sweating and stuff. Yeah. And you're not wiping your equipment. Like, not yeah. even because of just the COVID thing, but, like, if you're sweating and you it's got, like, yeah, snail yeah, yeah, trail yeah. and shit, bro, yeah. wipe that shit off, man. The sweat <laughs> is gross. Now, you're going to hate me because my new gym, they're so, like, no one gives a fuck. When I sweat, I wipe, but when I don't, I don't. I don't I'm going to be real. Yeah. My, my girlfriend wipes every time. I'm yeah. just like, <laughs> I ain't got time for that, bro. I got to get yeah. good games, bro. All right, what's another one? Um, Bro, you know who? what I hate? When the motherfuckers on the man. phone, and, wait, what's up? Oh, the naked, naked old man. Naked old I man. hate it. Well, I hate him, but then like they're old, yeah. so I'm like, yeah, it's alright. They just be chilling, bro. Right, <laughs> the dicks out about <laughs> in the locker room. It's wild. Uh, I hate mother. This is my third. I hate when they're sitting on a machine on their phones and they take up the whole fucking machine and there's only like one or two of them, so I have to wait for them and they're just on their phone chilling, bro. For a while. You ever had that? Like for bro, a long. Yeah. Time. So yeah. I, I uh, Planet Fitness around here, there's only two leg presses. And there was a, uh, I, someone was working out on one. And then there was a lady sitting there barely doing shit on her phone. I'm like, bro, I need to fucking get on the leg press, yeah. bro. I hate that. Oh, that's, that's, that's why I like the gyms, like. Serious ones. Yeah, because, like, you go in there and people are they working their up. ass off. Like, we got to work out on my gym, bro. Yeah. You would love that like, shit. Like, I'm on my phone to change the song, and then I'm back to it. I'm locked in. Yep. There, There is not a single person in my gym that isn't there to fucking, like, get it. Yeah. Everyone's fit as shit too, and it makes me feel like small. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's, but it's nice when you get a compliment. Like oh yeah. When a big dude's From the like, big guy. They're like, "How much you weigh?" I'm like, "Uh, one forty five. Those are big numbers." I'm like, yeah. hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Let's fucking go. What's the weir- What's the most embarrassing thing you ever done in the gym? Uh, I was deadlifting, bro. Oh shit. Yeah, man. So, oh no, this is I gonna was, be bad. I was deadlifting one time, bro, and I p- went to pull up. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Oh, and then what happened? I shit myself. <gasps> you shit yourself, bro. It wasn't like it wasn't like a. Bu- I made a TikTok about it too. It wasn't That's like a so bunch awesome. to where it like ran out. Yeah, but just a it, little. It definitely like like a fart. I'm scared about that. Yeah. Because I've had like like wet farts, and I'm like, oh man, did I shit myself? I almost shot myself once in the gym. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, bro, I was like, what the? Fuck? You beat me. <laughs> my my story's not as embarrassing what as that. Yours? I mean, dude. All right, so. It's so funny. We literally just talked about this. So my girlfriend and I have been dating for eight months now. Eight, going about to be nine. And literally the first month we ever dated, we went to work out together. It was at Gold's Gym in Burlington. I was like, it was her first time working out with me. And she doesn't work out regularly. So I was kind of like the guy who wants to, you know, I'm going to show you around, show you what we're going to do and shit. So we're squatting. First workout, right? My fucking, she's having like anxiety because, you know, when you're new to a gym, there's a bunch of people looking yeah. at you, especially as a girl. It's, mm-hmm. I get it. And I'm squatting, doing my weight. I have three plates on each side, right? And I'm like, okay, well, she's ha- she doesn't want to squat anymore at this point. So I'm like, all right, let's move on to the next one. I'm unracking the weight by myself because it's heavy for her. And I rack oh, all sorry. three plates out of one side. And I still have nightmares about this shit. Every time I unrack weights, I'm thinking about it in my head. And the whole bar goes, whoom, and the like every single motherfucker, and it was packed that day, looked at me. I'm in the corner. <laughs> Everyone's looking. One guy was nice and was like, that happens. I'm like, no, it doesn't. But I, I'm just like, damn, that's never happened to me in my two and a half years yeah. of lifting. Because I never just thought about it. And once you get to three plates, you have to take it off. Yeah. Like, symmetrically. Like, you have to go on one side and the other and stuff. Bro, that was so embarrassing. 
I've never done that, but I've o- I've almost done it to the point where I'm pulling off that <gasps> yeah, and it, it starts and it leaning. Starts leaning, and I'm like, oh, okay. See, I was flexing. I was just <laughs> taking it out real fast. Boom. Yeah. And, then and I, that's three plays. That's a lot of weight pulling yeah, back. Yeah, and it's fucking loud. Have you ever uh, tried to lift something that was way too heavy and, like, you couldn't do it? Or, like, like failed on a chest press or something? Like, that? You, you've always I done, failed. like, a good... Okay. But, like... You have a spotter and shit. Yeah, like, I've never... Oh, like been stuck, like yeah. oh shit, nah, yeah. nah, 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 bro. I've had that so many times. I'm a fool, bro. I'll I'll be doing it like, yo, I got this today. No, I don't. And you know? then that would suck. Yeah, like, you're just sitting there like, I need somebody. Most of the time, I'm lucky enough to where there's uh the pins that are like super close on the side where I'll just. Oh yeah. But, yeah. but one time in college, this is when I was first lifting, bro. I, I don't know. I could lift that number. It was 185 on chest press. I've done that. For some reason that day, it was awful. I took it off, and it just felt really heavy. Went down. I was stuck, and there was no one around. Like, it was like an empty gym. Like, I would have to wait for a worker oh. to walk. So what I had to fucking do was roll it down to my, like, waist, and then, like, chuck it off my legs. Like, it was really weird, bro. Because you had the clips on, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You couldn't just, like, yeah. let go. Oh, that's the thing, man. Fuck clips. What's a machine that you think should just be erased? Erased? Yeah. I, I'm saying decline press. What the fuck is... Well, actually... No, no. I can't I say decline I use a decline press. I, I, I can't say that because I've used it before too. I can't say that one. You know what's a weird workout? It's it's The machine is great, but the workouts that some people do off of it is so stupid. What? You know the assisted pull-up and assisted oh, dip yeah. mm-hmm. with the little pad? I see people kicking it down for like a leg press. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, just go to the leg press. I'm the not gonna fuck lie. Is the I, point don't, of that? I don't know if they're doing it for a leg press or obviously girls do. So I always thought they were trying to do something like right glute, with a butt. Glute wise, but nah. but I'm just thinking in my head. I'm like that motion and how much the weight can go to. You could just do it on the leg press yeah. with one leg. That's what I do. I don't know, bro. People are weird at the gym, man. People, they just try to make up all kind of new stuff. Bro. I that's the thing I hate about like new trainers. I'll watch like uh, athletes and their trainers, and they make them do like one leg squat barbell shit and i'm just like what the it's fuck is this stuff. yeah like, like lebron was doing it i was like what the fuck you guys are gonna get hurt man <laughs> thanks for coming today by the way course, i really appreciate it let's I let's go ahead and you. shout out all your social medias so we got instagram and and tiktok which is raz underscore lifts it's r-a-z underscore lifts right mm-hmm. okay what else is there is that just the main two what yeah. about your youtube the youtube it's the same thing raz underscore lifts but i haven't really started posting on there when yet. are we starting when are we starting, bro? I'm going to say in the next two weeks we'll have our first video. Up. All right. I hope so, man. I hope so. We talked about it off screen. Well, thank you so much. This was a good episode. We had a fun time. You guessed pretty good on the energy drink thing. I, I thought you were going to get none of them, bro. Honestly, it was nice catching up with you, man. We got to get a lift going on soon. Never, bro. Just let me I would love to get a lift. Man, I, I would love to get you here, but it's so far. I, I, I'm it's in Greensboro. Not, that's not bad, bro. Yeah, true. But that's I'm in Greensboro all the time. So I was like, whatever works But best. $15 for a guest pass? Yeah, I don't mind. But no, nah, fuck that. Job. Mine is ten bucks. I'll come here. Mine's ten bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather your gym sounds my, better. My gym. Well, Strive is bigger. Your gym is like a little bit bigger, but mine is like, bro, like meatheads. Like just like all the none none of the weights are rubber. All of it's like fucking metal and yeah. shit. You know, it's like an old school gym. And I love going to new gyms, bro. So I'll yeah, I love that shit too. We're gonna work out soon. All right, guys, uh, that was it for episode three. If you guys are listening, thank you so much for checking this out. We're gonna be here every Monday. I hope you guys can check out Razan's Razan Rishan. I said it Razan as I rolled out. Rishan's uh, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. He makes great content with uh, comedy, kind of like fitness sketches. And with that being said, next week's guest is gonna be my girlfriend, which is gonna be a really interesting one. So uh, I will see you guys then. Thank you so much, everybody. Peace.